Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In today's video we're going over a free look system so you can hold down the button, in my case it will be left alt, and so when you're moving you can move the camera around freely without it actually affecting the direction in which the character is moving in. So let me hit play and show you what we make today. So you can walk around normally like this, you can move the camera around and obviously move the player like so, but if I were to hold down my button, which for me is left alt, I can now move the camera around freely while not affecting the player's current movement direction. So this is something quite nice in which you can obviously just look further around. This is quite good in third person shooter games. For example, PUBG uses this and it's very good. I quite like the idea of this and so I'm going to be going over how to create this inside of Unreal Engine 5 and it's actually very, very simple to do. So this is what we're going to go over today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up our character blueprint. Now for me this is going to be control space to open up our content browser, go to third person, blueprints, BP third person character. Once we're in here, what we're going to do is we want to actually mess about with the movement input here. Because what we're doing is changing how the player moves based upon the camera. Because what we're actually doing is just changing how the player moves. We're not actually doing anything with the camera, it's just how they move. But what we want to do first before we mess about with that is go to edit, project settings, once it loads, we're going to go down to input and we're going to create an action mapping here. So we're going to hit the plus. I'm going to name this one free look and I'm going to set this to the button which I want. For me, it's going to be left alt. You can obviously set this to whatever button you like, but for me, left alt is going to be good. Then I'm going to close this, go back into the event graph of our third person character blueprint, right click and search for the action mapping we just made. I named mine free look and you should see we now have the action event free look here like so. Now I want to have this to be a hold, so the player has to hold down alt in order to use free look. When they let go, it'll go back to normal. So what we're going to do is create a variable here, hit the plus variable in the bottom left, naming this free look or is free looking, whatever you want. And I'm going to compile, save that, leaving it as a boolean and leaving the default value as false. So by default, the player is not free looking. Then I'm going to hold down left alt, and drag this into the event graph to set it connecting that into pressed and doing the same connecting it into released and I'm going to tick it on pressed and set it to false again on released. So when I'm holding down i.e. I start pressing the free look button which means left alt we're going to set it to true so the player is now free looking and when we let go of the button i.e. released it's going to set back to false so the player is no longer free looking. Now if you want to do this on toggle instead of hold what you can do is come out of pressed get a flip-flop, A will go into setting it true, B will go into setting it false, like so, and that means now I press left alt, it goes to set it true, I press it again, it will set it false, and so on and so forth. Again, I want it to be hold like this. So we're going to compile and save that, and now we can actually enable and disable free looking inside of our game. However, for the moment, this isn't actually going to do anything other than tell the code we want to be in free look mode. So to actually do the code for free looking, once again, like I said earlier, we need to mess about with the movement input here. So I'm just going to move this code out a little bit to give us some more space so we can actually do what we need. I'm also just going to expand the comment out a little bit as well, just to be ready for what we want, like so. In here, what we're going to do is I'm going to move the action events out first. Then you'll notice here what's basically happening is we're getting the control rotation, so the rotation of the camera and setting that to be where we're going. So these axis values should be connected to the scale value. Sorry, they probably will be for you, but I was just doing some code earlier, so don't worry about that. Uh, so essentially, like I say, for moving forward and backwards, it's based on the Z camera rotation, and for moving left and right, it's based on the X and the Z, as you can see here. We want to change this to be from the camera to just the player for when they're moving forward, when we're in free look. So very simply, what we can do is move the get control rotations out a little bit, and I'm going to do the forward and backwards first. So we're going to drag out of the get forward vector in rotation Z your here and get a select float like so. Then the Z of the get control rotation is going to go into B of the select float there. I'm just going to move these down a little bit to give us some more room like so. So B is going to be get control rotation. A however wants to be the rotation of the player. So to do that we're going to drag in a reference to our capture component and then get world rotation, making sure it's world, not relative. Right click the return value, split the structure pin, and Z is going to go into A very simply like so. 
then pick A, this boolean value here, is going to be our free look boolean variable we created earlier, like so. And what this is doing is it's going to be changing which value it's using based upon this boolean value. So if free look is true, then that means it will pick A. So A here is capture component get world rotation. So if we're free looking, we're using the rotation of the player. If we're not free looking, this will be false, so it won't pick A, so it will pick B, meaning it will be of the control rotation, i.e. the camera, and that's nice and simple for going backwards and forwards like so. However, we also want to do it for going left and right as well, so it's the exact same thing, however, you'll notice we're doing the X and Z, not just the Z, so it's one extra step as well. So what we can do is just move this out, and I will copy and paste all of this here, move it down here, so actually delete that one, making note of the X and Z move this up here. This first one, as this is the Z, I'll just connect that into the Z there, move it down, copy and paste it again, connecting this one into the X like so. Let me just move these down a bit further. And because this one is now for the X, I'm just gonna switch over the A and B values to be X instead of Z, perfectly like so. And it is that simple. Let me just expand the comment box out like this. And now the code is done for it. So like I say, what's happening it's the exact same thing I mentioned earlier. Based upon if we're in free look mode or not, i.e. if this boolean is true or false, it's going to be changing which values it uses to calculate the movement input and direction which we want to be going in for again, going forwards, backwards, left and right. So then we hit compile, save, close this, and we can now test this out as again, this should be working perfectly for us. So let's hit play. We can move about with our camera moving perfectly normally like so, no difference here. If I hold down left alt, however, I can now move my camera around freely like so without it affecting which direction the player is moving in. The camera can change where we're looking without changing the direction we're going in. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. What we've done is we've set up a free look system in which we can now move the camera around the player so we can get a good look around what's around us without it actually affecting where the player is going. So again, we can get a nice view like this. So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.